Hello viewers, welcome to Math Tech. I am Amish Sharma. In this video, we are going to solve a question of integral equation and boundary value problem from CSIR Net June 2021. The question is from the topic Volterra integral equation. So without a delay, let's start. Question is consider the integral equation integration from 0 to x, x minus t ut dt equal to x, where x is greater than or equal to 0. For continuous function u, define on semi open semi closed interval 0, comma infinity. The equation has option 1, a unique bounded solution, option 2, no solution, option 3, a unique solution u such that mod ux less than equal to c into 1 plus mod x for some constant c, option 4, more than one solution u such that mod ux less than equal to c into 1 plus mod x for some constant c. The following result is very essential to learn in order to solve the question. Result An integral equation of the type gx into yx is equal to f of x plus lambda integration from a to x kxt y t dt where kxt is known as kernel where a is fixed constant and x is variable fx gx and kxt are known function while yx is unknown function lambda is non-zero real or complex parameter it is called Volterra integral equation. If gx is equal to 0, then the integral equation becomes f of x plus lambda integration from a to x kx t y t dt equal to 0 and it is known as Volterra integral equation of first kind. Now given integral equation is integration from 0 to x x minus t ut dt equal to x where x is greater than or equal to 0. It is Volterra integral equation of first kind where ux is continuous function defined on semi open semi closed interval 0 comma infinity. Now differentiate with respect to x on both sides by using Leibniz rule of differentiation under integral sign we get d by dx of integration from 0 to x x minus t ut dt is equal to 1 which is further written as integration from 0 to x curly by curly x of x minus t ut plus now substituting the upper limit in place of t we get x minus x ux and the derivative of upper limit which is dx by dx minus substituting the lower limit in place of t we get x minus 0 u of 0 and the derivative of 0 with respect to x which is equal to 1. Now this term becomes 0 because x minus x is 0 and this term is 0 because the derivative of 0 is 0. We get integration from 0 to x ut dt which is equal to 1. Now again differentiating with respect to x on both sides by using Leibniz rule of differentiation under integral sign we get d by dx of integration from 0 to x ut dt which is equal to 0 which is further written as integration from 0 to x curly by curly x of ut. Now substituting the upper limit in place of t we get ux and the derivative of x with respect to x minus substituting the lower limit in place of t we get u of 0 and the derivative of 0 with respect to x this is equal to 0. Now this term is 0 because there is no x and this term is 0 because the derivative of 0 is 0. Now we get u of x is equal to 0 but the integration from 0 to x ut is equal to 0 when we substitute x is equal to 0 and this is not equal to 1 because the value of this function is 1. This implies there is no solution of the given integral equation. Hence option 2 is true. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you like the content please do like share and subscribe my channel. If you have any query comment me. Thank you very much.